Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This is for all 12 signs who's coming towards you. So let's get all 12 signs before that and see what's going on. So what's coming towards the collective? What's a mutual energy? And then we'll do all 12 signs. Somebody, there was, okay, somebody, there was options and somebody got backstabbed or betrayed. That's what you're feeling like. You could be confused, but I feel like there was an option and you got betrayed. Give me all 12 signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, got an emperor, there's an apology from the emperor or an offer. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like Taurus may be moving forward quickly, um, getting the hell out of Dodge, so to speak. If you're dealing with a, if you're dealing with a Gemini, they're trying to heal from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Cancer, someone's um, getting clarity about a love offer. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's moving on because of a harsh truth. If you're dealing with a Virgo. Something came to an end because somebody, there's something coming full circle here. Something ended so something new could begin because somebody was a player. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's watching a betrayal. Ooh, we got some betrayals going on here today. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio's looking back at past. Empress energy. If you're dealing with a Sag. Sad just taking the time to look at things from a different perspective. They want peace. They want balance. They want fairness. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody um, is going to have a victory. Rebuilding, I feel like. I don't feel like that's a third party. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, something's going to end. and Somebody's going to regret an ending. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, it's almost like something's being illuminated and somebody's having sleepless nights over it. Somebody knows. Somebody knows. What do we got going on for everybody? So you may have found out about an option and a betrayal. So let's see what is going on today. Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? So you have somebody who's obsessed. You may have a King of Cups obsessed with you, Aries. I feel like there's a King of Cups, could be masculine, could be feminine, taking out resonates with you. Third party that that it needs the strength to speak the truth. This person's obsessed. Uh, they're obsessed with you, Aries. Um, Somebody's wanting to heal something, but somebody's obsessed, King of Cups, um, about a third party, could be a third party, and they need the strength to speak the truth. Here you are, Aries, and you may be brokenhearted about a new passionate beginning needing to heal, right? Um, so you're, it's almost like I feel like you're standing your ground or, or you're. Oh. I feel like this person who's obsessed with come with, they're obsessed with a third party, right? They need the strength to tell you the truth, right? I feel like this is. 
if you're dating, you're both dating the same woman is what I'm feeling like. If you're both masculine energies, you're both dating the same woman. This is the other, the other, your person's person. So they were already in a relationship and they started dating you. This person's coming to tell you the truth. It's going to break your heart because you thought this person was single because you had a new passion at the beginning and now you got to recover from this, right? And it's almost like you're blocking some, no, I feel like you're overcoming some kind of an obstacle to work with the competition. You're overcoming your ego, Aries, because you're working with this person who's cheating on you and them you're working with the other the other guy um to like put this person in their place right because you're getting clarity about a love offer you know this person may have been engaged to this person you're overcoming an obstacle and, and the obstacle for you i feel like is ego because aries can be very egotistical okay um they can be very strong masculine energies but they're very egotistical and this is, this is working with the competition, working with the drama, strife, jealousy, competition, whatever this is, because you're getting clarity about a love offer. You're finding out this person was, I'm engaged to this woman and this woman's cheating on me, right? This person wants to heal. I, I wouldn't want to marry this person, but apparently this person's obsessed with this person. So very interesting. Aries, you got, you got a third party coming to you to like cry on your shoulder. So let's see who's coming towards Taurus. Who's coming towards Taurus, please? Who is coming towards Taurus, please? Mind you, these are all about some betrayals, but what we're getting. Okay, under the bottom of the deck, clarity. Somebody's getting some clarity. So somebody feels backstabbed and betrayed, Queen of Cups. About a new beginning, there's something has come to an end. Very trapped in their head about this ending. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Somebody's making a decision to cut out a ten of cups. That's meant. Okay. So I feel like the Taurus, you're here. You're you're the two of cups, but I feel like there's an ending with a queen of wands there's someone's feeling back, backstabbed and betrayed there may be in their their um emotions um this could be you being in your emotions um about having something new because something has come to an end here and you're feeling very trapped in your head because of this ending has to do with the queen of wands so i feel like you're the queen of cups here you may be in your emotions that's why the queen of cups is there this, you are the two of cups. Um, the two of cups is sitting right next to you, Taurus. Somebody made a head over heart decision to cut out you, a 10 of cups, something that's meant to happen. So you may be a divine soulmate because their wish fulfillment is to hold on to the option. Just know Taurus, if this person is cutting you out of the picture and betraying you and keeping the karmic, it's not time for this person to level up if they're a twin. Otherwise, I mean, I would just move on with my day. I wouldn't waste my time on this. You're a two of cups though here. And they're they're cutting out their ten of cups, two of cups, something that's meant to happen, something that's faded, something that the divine is saying, what are you doing? You know, because their wish is to hold on to to the options. Crazy, 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 crazy. What do we got coming towards Gemini? What's coming towards Gemini? What is coming towards my Gemini?
What's coming towards my Geminis? And at the bottom of the deck, you got a two of cups. Okay. Gemini. You're pre-empress here. You're manifesting somebody from the past. You have the moon card. So you're secretly holding on to somebody. You're manifesting somebody from the past that you're holding on to. Um, divine timings at play to reconcile with this king of cups. But something's been illuminated about some drama, some strife, jealousy, competition. And it's been going on for a long time. Somebody's trying to win, play in mind games, manipulation. But you're still taking that leap of faith to have equal give and take and to recover something. You are. You, you're still like, I can beat that competition. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of you. So look, what's funny is you know that this person's got the five of wands and the five of swords. So you know that they're a whole shit show altogether, right? But you're still taking that leap of faith to have that equal give and take. I like that Gemini. He's like, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I watch me. Just say, watch me. This is what's, this is what's happening, because that's my two of cups, right? Okay, so Cancer, Cancer. What do we got for the Cancer gang? What do we got for the Cancer gang? What do we have for the Cancer gang? Ooh. Under the bottom of the deck, Cancer, you have two of cups as well, okay? So I feel like someone's at a crossroads because somebody's a player. Somebody rushes in, they rush out. Now, this person could be the emperor for this pre-empress or this empress, center of the reed right there, center, empress energy. This could be the divine masculine, but they're in a low vibration. And if they're in the low vibration, they couldn't even connect with this person to begin with, right? King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's the devil here. Somebody's obsessed with being single. And um, Okay, so I see what's happening, Cancer. Cancer, you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. You know, you're like, you know, what direction do I go? This person's a player. I'm an empress. He's the king of pentacles here. You, you may be obsessed with staying single. It's like, no, I'm good being single. I'm good. I'm good. I got this. Because of your own happiness and success. You know, you got everything that you need. And your guard's up. With that nine of wands, your guard's up against any third party. You got your guard up. You got... It's like we're not dealing with any third party betrayals because there is a third party queen of queen of wands deception um, with your 10 of cups. There is somebody who is trying to win, trying to play mind games, trying to manipulate for a long time, but you see things differently. So you're like, look, look, I may care for this person, but I'm good right where I'm at right now. I'm happy single. I'm happy single. And, and I, this, this totally to me under the bottom of the deck, it is your two of cups. But let me just tell you until that divine, divine masculine comes towards the divine feminine in a correct way there, they are just wasting their time. You cannot have a divine masculine, be a player, be a, a knight of wands and come in and be able to connect with, with an empress. That is just not going to happen. It just will not happen. Anybody that's in their highest level, their highest vibration, if you have low vibrational people coming towards you, they go right underneath you. They can't match your energy. They have to be here to match your energy. They cannot do this. This doesn't work, okay? So you know, you know that this person's a player and it's like, you know, you're obsessed with being single. It's like, look, 
I don't need this. I don't want this. I don't have to have this, right? You got your defense up. You, you're guarded against any third party queen of wands deception with your 10 of cups. This is just like this person likes to play mind games. They like to manipulate. They like to control. They've been doing it for a long time. But guess what? I see things differently. You're happy right where you're at. And until somebody comes at you correct, don't waste your time. There is quite the freedom in being single and being okay with being single. There's nothing wrong with being single. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm single and I'm never bored. I'm never, I don't have time to be bored. I've got so much going on. I, I don't even have, a, if I, if I even started to date, I would have to figure out a way to work them into my schedule. That's just how it is. So ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing that I'm missing. So let's go to Leo. Let's go to Leo. Man. Man. Okay. Leo, you have a choice here. You have the you have the Empress here watching. Somebody is coming towards you almost in an attacking manner with a harsh truth in judgment. So maybe they're calling you out of your name or they're saying something that isn't true. They're coming towards you. You see them coming. Leo, do they not realize you're a lion? <laughs> Just like you can come in and say it, but you might not leave in the same way you came in. Come in like a lion, leave like a lamb with your tail between your legs. Oh my gosh, people, people. It's almost like you see, you, you're watching somebody come at you with a harsh truth, right? Then there's emotional communication. They think they've won but they're really out in the cold. You're the one coming back from the victory. You're coming back with the victory, Leo, because you're the, the Empress here with that six of wands here. Um, you're coming back from that battle victoriously. This person with the harsh truth coming at you is going to be left out in the cold. Um, there is a lot of back and forth communication to a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is, they want their wish fulfillment. They need strength because there has been some kind of betrayal and deception. And they, there is, now, now they've got to work with the burden. This person's got to deal with the bullshit. That's what's happening. If you had somebody coming at you, now this could be a third party. This could be anybody who's coming at you with a harsh truth, a harsh truth. Now there's emotional communication of a victory. Because there's a, that person's now out in the cold. And you may be the one communicating with, with the um, King of Pentacles here. I feel like it's this King of Pentacles wish is for, wishing for strength. Like, oh my God. Because it's almost like this person's popping off with a harsh truth. Um, and harsh truth and judgment. Whatever this is, it's almost like. I almost feel like, Leo, this person thinks they're stronger, you know, that they can take you or they can, they can, you know, put you in your place or something. But this is, you're watching this, somebody coming in with the harsh truth, but there's emotional communication of a victory. So, I mean, they came at me and then they ended up on the ground and that's just kind of what happened. They're out in the cold. And they're, you're communicating to this King of Cups. You're telling this person what's happened here. And now this person, their wish is to have some strength because there was betrayal and, and deception. And now they've got to work with the burden. Now they got to fix the problem. Now they got to fix the problem, right? There's a choice to make. There's a, still a choice to make. Somebody's going to come at you, Leo, and you're going to check them. 
No Karens today. I'm just saying. People acting crazy. And I have to say, guys, if your name is Karen, don't take that as a personal assault because I'm not assaulting anybody. It's referring to an action, somebody acting crazy. It just, it is. It is. I had somebody tell me one day, I am not attacking no damn body. So sit down. <laughs> say it, relax. I am reading the cards. I am just making a statement. Okay. Okay, what do we got coming for Virgo? Who's coming towards Virgo? Whew. <laughs> Virgo. You got first card out, the devil. The devil. Okay, I can see this. I can see this. I can see this. Wow. Virgo, you got your hands full. You got your hands full. You're standing your ground. You're blocking. I feel like you're blocking somebody. I feel like you're blocking someone. You're obsessed with moving on from, from the strife, the jealousy, the competition, the drama. I feel like this, you know, it's almost like you've been patient. Um, you've been keeping been patient about your judgment. So in other words, you have been, you kind of kept your mouth shut about things. You haven't really you know, put your, uh, inflicted your will on anybody with your judgment and you being patient, um, has to do with love and passion, but there's a queen of swords, two of cups here. Apologizing for juggling, wanting to heal the situation, but this person is really wanting to win at all costs. By, by communicating to somebody else. Wow. I see what's happening. You're blocking this. You're blocking this queen of uh, queen of swords. So what's happening is you decided I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm a water Uber. I'm, I'm tired of this, this nonsense, the middle of the read, this, this strife, this jealousy, this competition and, and my judgment, I've been more than fair in my judgment. You've been fair in your judgment. You haven't, you haven't put this person out or you haven't been, um, you know, coming at this person in a negative way. It, you thought this was love and passion, but this queen of swords who you thought was your two of cups. Well, they may apologize for juggling, and tell you they want to heal, but all along this five of swords, they're trying to win at all costs playing mind games because they're still communicating with a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. So it's like, no matter what they tell you, no matter what they tell you, they're lying. If they told you um, they had chicken for dinner, you know damn good and well they had steak, okay? Everything that comes out of this person's mouth is a lie, and that's what I'm getting. This person, you're obsessed with moving on. Like you've been, like you've been very fair in your judgment. You haven't lost it on this person, but now I feel like you're blocking this person. So whoever that is, that even if they're telling you, oh, we need to heal this situation. I'm sorry I juggled you. Let's fix it. Let's this, this, this and that. And then they turn around and they're still talking to that person. Libra. What do we got for the Libra gang? What is going on for the Libra gang? Man, can't everybody just get along? Can't we all just like have some peace? Be kind. It's the holidays. Make some hot chocolate. Chill on the couch. You know, watch some Christmas movies. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, Libra. To get the juicy, juicy details here. Let's see what juicy details. Coming in for Libra. Okay. You've got the five of cups under. This could be loss. This could be regret. This could be, you know, mourning something. So there's a relationship. Okay. 
Okay, so I feel like there's a relationship where somebody took a leap of faith to justice. They want to propose. They may be uh, asking somebody to marry them. Queen of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But there's somebody who's very jealous, trying to cause some drama. You've ended, you thought you ended the drama and the deception with this Queen of Wands. You, you thought it was over. You thought there was th that this wouldn't, this wouldn't come back around. Because I saw... I saw, I see that there is something that had come full circle. You ended something with somebody, right? You ended the burden so that you could start fresh with your queen of cups. Okay, Libra, you wanted to start fresh with your queen of cups, but there's deception. There's lies, cheating, stealing with this queen of wands. This person is just causing drama. This person is telling you that that offer belongs to her and not the queen of cups. Like if you're going to marry somebody, it's going to be me. Okay. Right. Because this offer, there's the offer here and someone's trying to hold on to that offer. That queen of wands is trying to hold on to the offer that you're giving to the queen of cups. Right. This third party, this third party is stressing you the F out. They, they really are. They're stressing you out. Right. Remorse, regret, regret, you know, I feel like you regret answering that call. So this person, what I'm seeing here is you're taking the leap of faith towards justice with the Queen of Cups. But there is a jealous person that you've ended something. This is somebody from your past. This is an ex that there's a burden of deception. There's all kinds of nonsense going on with this Queen of Wands. And that offer, this person's trying to hold on to this offer of this new beginning because they, they're like, that. that's my offer you know, you were going to marry me and why you, why are you, they're causing drama. This third party is manifesting a lot of drama, stress. Uh, you're stuck in your head. You can't, get, <laughs> they're manifesting a lot of drama. Wow, Libra. Boy, these readings have been interesting today. There's been a lot of tea, a lot of tea being spilled. Okay. Scorpio. Let's see. Scorpio probably has the mildest one of the bunch. Scorpio, what's going on for Scorpios? What's going on with my Scorpios? What's going on with my Scorpios? Temperance, patience, patience. So I feel like okay. So I feel like I feel like what's going on, Scorpio, is you want to reconcile, but you're manifesting rebuilding. You're manifesting rebuilding something, but you're a little discontent because you want to get married. You want justice here. You want justice in a new beginning. So you want to get married. Okay. You want to rebuild something, but you want it to go to marriage. You don't want to be this person's girlfriend. You want this new passionate beginning and, and a new beginning of love and abundance. And it's almost like an offer. Like, like you, you want this person to offer you this. They, you know, uh, I, I feel like it's not an apology, but it's an offer. Look, we can rebuild this. We can have all these wonderful things. Let's, let's do this. But there's some kind of closing out of a cycle, ending something to start something new, but holding back. You're holding back from ending stuff. Okay. So something has come full circle. Something has literally come full circle for you. Under the bottom of the deck, you have been patient. Okay, what you've been patient for is you want to marry this person, right? And this person's just not stepping up to the plate. So I feel like you want to reconcile your manifesting, rebuilding, your discontent, wanting justice, new beginning of pub, passion, new beginning of love and abundance, right? You want this offer. Something has come full circle. You're still holding on. And, and you're hoping it'll transform you looking at the past, looking back at, look at all the seeds I've planted. You know, I want something to transform. I want this to go further. At, and this is, and you're making a head over heart decision. 
to cut out the competition in divine timing. Um, I feel like you're not going to take no for an answer, Scorpio. I feel like, I feel like, look, I have paid my dues. I have put in the work and this is what I want. This is, I mean, it's almost like you're stepping up to the plate, like putting your foot down about if this is going to go anywhere, this is where it's supposed to go. And that's where I want it to go. So you've been patient. You've put in the work. You've cut out the competition. It's time for you to get what you're looking for. That's for sure. Okay, so Sagittarius. What do we got for the Sagittarius? Okay. <sighs> you have options under the bottom of the deck. Okay. Sagittarius. You haven't spoken to this person for a long time. You're at a crossroads about a new beginning in love because of a betrayal. Empress energy. You were out in the cold because of the competition. There was a lot of drama, strife, jealousy, competition. And you you got real you got a lot of clarity. You've done some soul searching. This may be you doing some soul searching about this emperor. Um, there is a harsh truth being spoken. Somebody, somebody, the competition out in the cold because of the drama, strife, jealousy, and competition, harsh truth about these three things out in the cold. You've been more than fair, more than patient with your two of cups because somebody's trying to win at all costs, play in mind games, rushing in and out. There's an option looking back at past endings, cutting out somebody, holding back from a new beginning. I feel like for you, Sagittarius, you haven't spoken to this person at a, uh, in a minute. It's been a long time, actually. And you're at a crossroads about love because of the betrayal. You see things clearly. You've done a lot of soul searching. You've been more than patient. But you are being guided in this direction. I feel like this person, the Emperor Two of Cups, rushes in and rushes out. It, it, they're not time. It's not time to level up here. It's not. You're out in the cold because of their drama. In the center of the read, you have out in the cold because of strife, jealousy, competition, and drama. And that's the harsh truth here. So right now is not the time. It's not the, the right time for the two of you. But this is your two of cups, emperor, empress energy. Um, but this person still has to level up. They're in their lowest vibration right now. Until that person comes in as, as the emperor, it's, it's not going to change. Things aren't going to change. What was under the bottom of the deck? Options. This person still has options. They're still rushing in, rushing out, playing, playing their game, playing their game. You thought long and hard about this person, but they haven't changed. Okay, so Capricorn. What's going on for the Capricorn game? What is going on for the Capricorn game? Under the bottom of the deck, taking the time, taking a time out, basically, looking at things from a different perspective. Divine timings that play about all this, this about all this jealous competition and deception that you're watching it, you're watching it, you see it. You need strength here um, to hold back. You need strength to hold back from this toxic mess. Somebody trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. You see it all. You've gotten all the clarity you need. You see that this person's a narcissist and all they do is cause drama. You have a queen of cups here. Maybe this is the queen of cups that you, that you feel this way about. You maybe you think that this is, yeah. 
<laughs> I like it. Capricorn, under the bottom of the deck, you're looking at things from a different perspective, okay? So divine timing is at play. There is a lot of drama, strife, jealousy, competition, deception, and you see it, right? You need strength to hold back from this toxic mess because this person's a narcissist. Obsessed with winning at all costs. Obsessed with mind games, manipulation, conflict. This is, you can't get worse than a person who is a five of wands, a ten of, of seven of swords, the devil, and the five of swords all at the same time. That is a shit show that you can't get, you can't recover from. Um, you, you have done some soul searching about this queen of cups, almost like you've been fair and balanced with this person because you thought this person was your two of cups, but look, you are now moving on king of pentacles to a new beginning. You're moving on, right? Because you now see things from a different perspective. It is time for you to hit the road, get away from all of this BS. Capricorn, man, did you live with a shit show? That is some nasty energy. Nasty, nasty energy. Okay. Aquarius. What is going on for the Aquarius? What is going on with the Aquarius? Okay. Is a broken heart here. Okay. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, this has kind of been a reading here for you for a couple weeks now. You have a King of Wands, an Aries Leo or Sag. You're coming in as an Emperor King of Swords here. This King of Wands, where the Emperor was concerned, there was secrets about a relationship that were communicated. So somebody communicated secrets about a relationship. Something has come full circle between the two of you. This could be a friend. It could be a boss. It could be anybody. This King of Wands did you dirty by communicating secrets about a relationship to somebody, right? Something has come full circle. You're trying to heal here. King of Swords from a queen of wands that you walked away from and you had take, you took a leap of faith to make a choice, right? And you offered your cup to your 10 of pentacles, but this person is now still watching you. They're still watching you brokenhearted. Fact of the matter is if you were married Aquarius, this is a friend or a boss that spoke to your significant other, your 10 of pentacles about something between you and this queen of wands. Now, whether it happened a week ago or five years ago, this person is spilling your business to your person to try to cause a breakup. That's what's been coming up in your reading for a minute. Um, you're walking away because you have took a leap to make a choice. Okay. And you offered your cup to your 10 of pentacles. In other words, you're fixing what you're fixing your business. You're fixing your business, okay? But this person's still watching you heartbroken. It could be the queen of wands. It could be the king of wands. But they're watching you heartbroken because whatever whatever happened, um, it has caused something to come to a complete stop with that person. Okay, so Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces gang? What's going on for the Pisces gang? What is going on for the Pisces gang? What we got for the Pisces gang? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces.
A lot of people in this. A lot of people in this, Pisces. There's regret under the bottom of the deck. So somebody wants justice for this King of Swords, Queen of Wands, New Passionate Beginning, Two of Cups. So you have a Queen of Pentacles and you have a King of Wands wanting a victory. I feel like what we have here, there's justice. It could be I'm not sure. I feel like maybe the Empress is this Queen of Pentacles. This is an interesting read, Pisces. I feel like somebody here wants justice. King of Swords, Queen of Wands. Like somebody may be getting married, having a new passion. Is a passionate new beginning with um, their person. This could be... This could be a lot of family members. This could be a lot of friends. But I feel like... There are six people here. There are six people here. There's a lot of people up in the business. I don't know who their brother-in-laws. Somebody's wanting justice for this King of Swords. Could be an, uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or could be someone who's strategic. Queen of Wands is in the middle of this read, okay? Now, I feel like the Queen of Wands is wanting this new passion at beginning with their person. So somebody is wanting justice and they want... They want their relationship to be solid. But you have a Queen of Wands and a King of Pentacles looking at each other, wanting a victory here to reconcile. But I also have the Queen of Pentacles being, being linked to the King of Cups and the King of Swords. I have... the King of Cups being linked to the King of Wands, who's linked to the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So it's all a shit show here. This is all a bunch of people. I feel like in this case, the Queen, somebody wants a victory reconciling or a vic wants a victory for this third party. And the King of Cups wanting to move forward to communicate how unhappy he is working, uh, missing an opportunity or discontent working. Um, with the empress wow under the bottom of the deck regret i feel like somebody's not discontent i feel like someone missed an opportunity to work with their empress king of cups wanting to move forward to communicate hey hey we have a king and a, a, a king of wands and a queen of pentacles they want a victory for the third party. They want a victory for a third party here. I feel like you're the odd man out in this, Pisces. I feel like you feel like you didn't get a chance to, to be with or work with your empress to, to fix things, but you have somebody who's one is rooting for somebody else. And, and somebody here is wanting justice for this King of Swords and this Queen of Wands. Now, is the Queen of Wands your empress? And this, um, this King of Wands wants this King of Swords to be with this person. You have a whole shit show here. Because I feel like there's a lot of people in the business here. There's a lot of people in your business. But you need to move forward quickly and communicate that you missed this opportunity to work with your person. For, to work it out with your person, possibly. Um and there's some regret here under the bottom of the deck. It's like maybe you're regretting that you're not speaking up, you're not talking, you're not saying what you need to say in a timely manner, and somebody's trying to push two people together and push you out of the out of the mix is what it looks like. So 
Guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a fabulous week.